Hi everyone, my name is Miss Tui and I'm so excited to be here with you today. We are going to learn how to program the bot to travel in a specific direction when the bot reaches an intersection. For today's lesson, you will need your Introduction to Color Codes directionality worksheets. Make sure you have all five pages, a color code reference sheet, an Ozobot, and a green, red, blue, and black marker. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to program the bot to turn left, right, or to travel straight when it reaches an intersection. You've already learned how to get the bot to follow a line, but what happens when it encounters an intersection? Let's find out. Find page one. Place your bot on start and have it line follow. When it reaches the intersection, notice where it goes. Hmm, it went to purple. Let's try this a couple times. I'll place it on start again. And this time it went to the teal color. Let's try it again. This time it chose purple again. When the bot reaches an intersection, it makes a random choice as to which way to travel. Today, we are going to learn how to program the bot to travel in the direction that we choose. Sometimes you want to tell the bot which way to go rather than having it choose randomly. Let's practice. Find page two. Here we have a couple of color codes. Left at intersection, straight at intersection, and right at intersection. If I put my bot here and I want it to end here, I need to figure out which color code to use. I can do this by turning my paper to face the same direction as me. This will help me determine which way the bot needs to travel. If I know that my bot will be running over this color code and I want it to travel over here, it needs to turn right or left. That's right, I need to code it to turn right, which means looking back at my color codes, I need to use the right at intersection color code, blue, red, green. So I'll start with my blue marker then I'll move to red and I'll end with green. To test my code, I'll place my bot on start, have it read the color code and see if it reaches the end. Nice work. Can you code your bot to make it to the end on page two? Let's keep practicing. Find page three. On this page, we want to code the bot to eat pancakes, to go to the beach, to go to the sunglasses, and then to play with the dog. I have my color code reference sheet here to help remind me which color codes I can use. Let's do the first one together. Eat pancakes. My bot will travel from start, run over this color code, and then it needs to either turn left or right to get to the pancakes. Which way should it travel? That's right, it needs to turn right. So I'm going to go to my color code reference sheet and I know that the right at intersection is blue, red, green. So I'll start with my blue marker I know the bot is traveling from this direction, so blue needs to go first, then red, then green. To test my code, I'll place my bot on start, have it read the color code, and see if it makes it to the pancakes. Nice work, we made it. Let's try the second one together. To make this a little bit easier, I'm going to turn the paper so I'm facing the same direction that the bot will be traveling in. That way it will be easier for me to determine whether I need the bot to turn left or right to get to the beach. So let's look. 
If the bot is traveling over the black line, over the color code, does it need to turn left or right to get to the beach? That's right, it needs to turn left. So I'm going to use my color code reference sheet to find left at intersection. That's green, black, red. I'll take my markers, green, black, and red. And I know that green starts in this square because the bot's coming from this direction and it's going to read green first. So let's try it and see. I'll place my bot on the black line and have it travel over the color code to see if it makes it to the beach. Indeed it did. Nice work. See if you can complete three and four on your own. We have one more skill to learn. We are going to learn all about the line switch codes. Line switch left, line switch straight, and line switch right. The bot will travel along this line, read the color code, and either turn left, go straight, or turn right and look for a new line to follow. We want our bot to start here and to end here. If it travels all the way over this color code, I'm going to have it travel straight so that it can land on this line and travel all the way to the end. I'm choosing straight because this gap is smaller than this gap right here. So line switch straight is green, blue, green. I'll start with green, move to blue, and end with green. Then I'll place my bot on start to see what happens. Now when the bot reaches the new line, it makes a random decision whether to turn right or left. It made it to the end. In the circumstance that it did turn left, we have a U-turn code here so that it can turn around and make it to the end. Congratulations, we did it. Can you get your bot to line switch on page four? Congratulations, you're now able to program Ozobot with color codes. In the past lessons, you've learned how to draw lines and color codes for Ozobot, and you've learned how to program Ozobot to travel in specific directions you've earned yourself some free draw time. Use the free draw paper and your markers to keep practicing the color codes and lines that you've been drawing for Ozobot. Come back again soon for our next exciting lesson.